Novena in honor of Blessed Francisco Palau OCD. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Introduction The Eucharist. In the Eucharist, the divinity embraces humankind. Jesus humbly offers us his divine life to make us one with the Trinity. The body and blood of Jesus are real nourishment for our journey. We are certainly fortunate to have such a friend always present in us, Jesus, truly present in the Eucharist, strengthens, transforms, and empowers us. He gives us the energy that we need in order for us to live fully as children of God. A reading from the writings of Blessed Francisco Palau, My Relation with the Church In the most blessed sacrament of the altar, you are present to me sacramentally in your head and morally united to your head. There, you give yourselves entirely to me. Sacramentally in your head and morally in everything and with all your body, because wherever your head goes, you go with all your body. That was so meaningful, isn't it? This writing of Father Palau summarized the overall situation and crucial events, which have taken place at precise moment of our, of his and our life. Just how Father Palau taught and expounded. In another uh, letter, he explained to Wanagrafias, dated 15th of October 1861, on how his spiritual daughter should behave with regard to the church, that mystical or moral body composed of God, and our neighbors, that moral body hero of which Christ is the head, is for you your spouse, your infinity, infinitely uh, loving lover, and is the same as the church. On that, as a youth, it is really true when you give and offer your love to God. It is not, it is not just uh, physical, but the entire being of yours. Especially in these times of uh, crisis today, uh, in in our society, uh, I see, I see to it that I have that courage and hope to face and fight the negative events in life, where I saw God in any circumstances. That uh, let letting letting go to God is is not a big thing to be afraid of, like Father Palau, uh, in spite and despite of his of the things happened to him. He always uh, al allowing God uh, to solve or to f uh, yeah to, f to fix things he cannot in order for him to grow. He just uh, he just keep believing that nothing is impossible to God. In ag in, in, um, in in every uh, Eucharistic celebration that we uh, attended at. That we are uh, present, uh, it is a symbol, a, a symbol of God, that there is hope, the love of God on us. As we go grow through, we we should we should go together, united and loving of the church, as one. Novena prayer, day number nine. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for the incomparable gift of your body and blood. Renew the unity of the Church in each Eucharist. Quench our thirst and satisfy our hunger with the true meal of heaven. We ask you that, with your life in the Eucharist, you may make us united with you in the bosom of the Trinity and always more united with you in our brothers and sisters. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, we ask in your Eucharistic name. Amen. Let us offer to the Lord 
through the prayers of Blessed Francisco Palau, all our hearts' desires. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed Francisco Palau, OCD, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay. 